one. One day I was on Pinterest minding my own business and then I decided to type in chunky knit sweaters to see what would come up. Then I saw all these colorful, beautiful chunky knits and I'm like, I don't know how to knit. But I proceeded anyway. And I learned about this girl. Her name is Hope Macaulay. So I had to, had to go on YouTube University to look up Hope Macaulay and how to make these beautiful, beautiful cardigans because I wanted one of my own and I'm a crafter, so why not? Typed it in. Of course, of course, of course, I've watched every video already, but that was future me. Or is it past me? I don't know. But I saw all these, OMG, I saw all these tutorials. So I said, oh yeah, we're gonna go to Joanne's, get some yarn. But first, let's look at the actual Hope Macaulay. Went on her website and then, boom. I said, eh, eh, we gotta make our own. No shade, Hope Macaulay. But girl, I have to make my own because I can't. I can't afford this right now. My God! Wow! Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Shantae, otherwise known as Shawnee with the T. And here I promote modest fashion and Christian content. So if that's something that you're interested in, keep on watching. Oh, and I also just film anything that happens in my life because at this point, I'm filming my life. Anyways. So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be making the Hope Macaulay Chunky Knit Sweater. And girl, I, oh, where's my yarn? So this is the color that I decided to do. And I got the extra thick burr knit yarn from Joanne. This is 600 grams, 21.1 ounces, and it's 72 yards. So this is the color that I decided to get. I wanted to do a neutral color, but then again, I'm like, this is pretty. This is really pretty. And if anything, I can go back. But I don't think I'll be doing it this thick again. I think I will be going down to just the, the blanket extra, the Bernat blanket extra. But I'm so excited. I've got um, two skeins, um, but this is future me talking. So I originally got two, and then I got two more. So I don't know if I'm going to be using all four, but I'll let you guys know at the end how many skeins I used. And I do show you guys my pattern that I made in the actual video and everything. So yeah, I mean, I, I can tell you guys right now. Okay, so this is what I did. All right, boom. So this is what I had. This is what happened. Um, what happened? Mm, let me tell you. Okay, so I did 24 loops across. 20. No, I'm I'm making stuff up. 20 loops across. 24 loops up and down. Should I just tell you guys after what happened? Okay, I'll tell you guys after. But that's what I did. And then I did six for the wrist because I did the lantern sleeve. Six for the wrist and I did uh, 12 for the arm. And then that was it. I'm excited. I'm really excited. But like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because, girl, we do everything over here. As long as it's pleasing to God. Okay, let's get right to the video. I'm having a hard time choosing whether to get this one now because I could always do this. Thank you. You're welcome. I can always do this. Or should I do this because it's giving fall? Like, this is like, yay, fall. Oh my God. But then I can also do like a dress with this. I don't know what to do. And there's so many of this. Let me check on the other side if they have it on the other side. They don't, so that would be the only one. So imagine, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And then they have this one, but I'm not really a fan of that. I'm going towards, like this camera does, doesn't know justice. I'm going towards this or that other one that we saw, that little coral one that we saw on the other side. And I was going to go for a smaller one because this is $23.99, but I don't know what to do. So this is the yarn I chose from Joann's. I'm so excited to start my project. 
Girl, tell me why I started like five projects and I'm still starting it and I'm not finishing them, but we're gonna finish this one. So I decided to sketch out the design that I wanted to do before I got started. I like to just see what I'm doing first before I actually do it. So I did one back panel, two front panels, and two sleeves. At first I was going to do bell sleeves or flared sleeves, but then my cousin said no, do lantern. Turns out, didn't like the lantern, but I still did it to just try it out. Next time I know to not do lantern, but to do straight sleeves instead. I figured out my loops um, across and horizontally and vertically, both for the back panel and for the front panels. I broke it down here with how many loops that's gonna be across and around, also for the shoulder part. And I've been watching tutorials so I'm about to get started. My camera's actually gonna die, so. Here, you just see me struggling a lot. I watched so many videos and I just could not figure out how to do a slip knot. Like, I did that about five times. I don't even know. Let's count together. I don't even know what is my third time. And I was just not getting it at all. Probably I got it, but then I was just overthinking as per usual, and I just couldn't get it. Like, I don't know what was going on. But after a while, like if you keep doing it and doing it and watching videos, you'll definitely get it. Like this is a beginner project that anybody can do. Like probably even my sister can do it. But my sister's 16, so of course she could do it. If she couldn't do it, then I'll be second guessing her and really contemplating whether or not she's really my sister. But at the end of the day, I think she's my sister. Anyways, I think I'm going to get it this time. You guys think I'm going to get it? Three, two, one. Bruh. I'm not getting it, guys. So I did 18 rows, and I need to do 24. And my camera's gonna die, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I know I said I'll catch you guys tomorrow, but I just couldn't stop working on it. After a while, you just get addicted to just hand knitting. Who would have thought hand knitting was so addicting? Anyways, so here I'm just showing you guys how I am basically putting the sleeve together on the jacket part. Yes, I did the sleeve. I couldn't believe I did the sleeve. Like. After you do 24 rows, back to back to back, I think you can do anything when it comes to hand knitting. So I'm just attaching the sleeve with a piece of the yarn that I had left over. I have to say that this sleeve was really, really big. Like, it would have been better off me doing just a straight sleeve, but now I know for the next time. So this is how I tie um, the sleeve onto the rest of the jacket. Once you tie it, that bad boy is not coming undone, unless you don't tie it. I was thinking about burning the ends, but I'm, I don't want to ruin the, the, you know, the look of the jacket. So I'm just putting it in like how you sew needle and thread, you know, like how you sew needle and thread. Am I explaining it correctly? But yeah, it's a very easy process. Like after your first 24 rows or how many rows you decide to do, it's like word math. What, what, no, what was that show called? Word girl, word up is word girl. If you don't know that, you probably weren't born in the 2000s. But yeah, yeah, although I said I would come back tomorrow, I ended up staying the whole night until my yarn was done. So it is the next day. The only reason why I didn't finish last night is because I didn't have any more yarn left, but so far it's looking so, so, so pretty. I did a lantern sleeve. Um, I didn't have any more yarn left, so I couldn't finish closing here. This looks so good. So, so good. I wish it was not as long. I did 24 down and 20 loops across. And then for the front, I did 10 across and 24 down. But next time I know to like make it a little smaller, I definitely want to do more colors. So I cannot wait to finish so I can see the ending results. So we're going to actually go to Joanne's today and see if we can. I really, really hope and pray that because there was only two more skeins left of this color. So I really hope I don't have to switch to another color. 
So right now I'm in Michael's. I don't know why, but I want to look at their yarn selection. Michael's is extremely expensive. I don't know why I'm here. Nothing beats trying. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, look. Oh, and their yarn is cheaper. But this is Burnett Big. I got, I got Burnett Extra Thick. I'm so happy. Okay, I made it to Joanne's, obviously. Should I get one or two? Okay, I'm just gonna pick both of them up, just in case. Look at this beautiful color right here. Ah! I originally, like, I, I think I, I'm gonna put this in a vlog, or the video, but I originally wanted to get this one. I feel like this one would be so cute. If this one is still here, I'm gonna get it. I wish they had the one that they had at Michael's. Wait, they do have it. Turn the corner. This, oh! This is the one I was gonna originally get, the extra, which was for $9.99, but it would take more yarn, and it wouldn't be as thick. I do wanna make a Jamaican one, ooh, but they don't have the colors. They don't have the colors. Of course they would have the colors here. Yellow, this one, green, and red. And this would be beautiful. Oh my God, I need to learn how to knit, cause there's so much yarn, like pretty yarn. Oh, I would just go crazy. But yeah, we got what we're looking for. So I'll see you guys when I get home. This is the amount that I have left. Started from this. Am I almost done? I don't even know. Thank God I bought two though. Okay, so I just cast it on the last piece of the bottom front panel. So now I'm going to take, I have to cut this side. And I'm just going to wrap it around itself and then tie it in the back. It's not what I wanted. I'm going to take the leftover yarn that I have here and I'm going to take these two pieces here and I'm going to put these two pieces together and then make my lantern arm and then we'll be done. This sweater is like a, like if I was to put a size to it, this is probably like a 3X sweater. Like look how huge this sweater is, it's really big. Okay, girl, so I finally finished the sweater and look at it. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty, pretty. But it's a lot of lantern right here. Let me back it all the way up so you guys can see how long it is. It's really, really long. Your girl is warm. Your girl is cozy for the fall. I'm wearing it inside, I'm wearing it outside. Anywhere I can go, it's going with me. It's definitely giving blanket. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to this part, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Oh, this was a fun video. I should really do more like this. If you guys wanna see more of crafting, fashion, sewing, anything to do with me, subscribe to the channel, make sure you like this video, and go ahead and try this out. If you've been seeing this sweater everywhere like I have been, it's your sign to try it out, babes. Have a great day, guys. Stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.